Governor Ralph Northam's push to ban the sale of assault weapons has failed. And Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco has the latest on the bill that brought more than 20,000 Second Amendment supporters to Richmond in protest. Yeah, this bill was considered the most controversial of the eight gun control proposals Governor Ralph Northam pitched after that deadly shooting in Virginia Beach last year. Now this morning, Senator Louise Lucas bluntly calling some of her fellow Democrats wimps after they voted to table the proposal until next year. This morning, a rare win for Second Amendment supporters after a series of Democratic gun control victories this session. It means a one-year reprieve until they try it again. The Senate Judiciary Committee shooting down a bill that would have banned the sale of assault weapons and the possession of firearm accessories like high-capacity magazines and bump stocks. This bill is unconstitutional on top of being a way to, to keep me from protecting myself as a wife, a mother, and a family person. Not everyone was celebrating, though. People are dying, and you care more about a piece of hardware. Lori Haas's daughter, Emily, survived the Virginia Tech shooting in 2007. She's been pushing for stronger gun control in the Commonwealth with the coalition to stop gun violence ever since. We're quite disappointed and frustrated and, frankly, angry. We have some um, Senate Dems who voted against us this morning, uh, including several who sought endorsements. Four Democrats voted to kill the legislation until next year, including Senator John Edwards. He says questions on the bill's constitutionality need to be answered and the definition of assault weapons clarified before he can support it. It was such a complicated bill, so much confusion on all sides. People have completely different views of the bill. We thought it's worth looking into more carefully. Now, the Senate Judiciary Committee did vote to send this bill to the state's Crime Commission for a study. Lawmakers are expecting the proposal to be back next year. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jackie DeFusco.